you buy a truck for $60,000 to start a shipping business. The truck has a useful life of three years. You then have to buy another truck. So what I've done here is I've drawn our actual a series of income statements for our shipping business. This is year one, year two, year three, year four. This is the revenue that we make in each of those years. So it's kind of a business that right from the get-go, we start making $100,000 a year. This is all in thousands. Let me write it that way. So this is all in thousands. So this is 100,000. And it kind of just stays steady there. We just keep making $100,000 a year in revenue for the first 10 years. And then we have to pay a driver. Let's say that the cost of the labor is $50,000 a year. So once again, this is, this is in thousands. And what I want to address in this video, so this would be a cost. So when you just subtract out the labor cost, you have 50,000 left. And then your other cost is going to be the truck itself. And what I want to think about in this video is how should we account for the cost of the truck? So you might just say, hey, look, to start off, I spent $60,000. So in year one, where I actually go out to the truck store and buy the truck, why don't I just call it an expense of $60,000? So one reality is you could just say, hey, look, in year one, my truck cost $60,000. Then in year two, I don't have to spend any money on a truck, because I have one. Year three, I don't have to do it. But then in year four, my first truck is now um, has to be scrapped, because I used it so much. So year four, I have to buy another truck for $60,000. And then again, year five, year six, I don't have to do anything. Then in year seven, I have to buy another truck for $60,000. Eight, nine, don't have to do anything. And then in year 10, I have to buy another truck for $60,000. So if you counted for the purchase of your truck every three years this way, your profit would look like this. In year one, 100 minus, so this is revenue, and these two lines are expenses. So 100 minus 50 minus 60, this is negative 10,000 of profit in that first year. Second year, you make 50,000. Third year, you make 50,000, just 100 minus 50. Then fourth year, again, negative 10,000. And then you make 50,000 and 50,000. And then again, negative 10,000. And then 50,000 and 50,000. So to someone who looked at this series of, of, of income statements, they'd say, my god, there's some kind of this is some type of bizarre business. In the first year, every three years, you, learn, you lose a ton of money. I don't know why. Maybe it's being mismanaged. Maybe something strange is happening. Maybe it's because of uh, bad weather. Who knows? And then you make a ton of money. Then you lose some money. Then you make a ton of money. So it seems like some type of very bizarre business when you look at it from the operating when you look at it from the profit line just when you just expense the truck every three years an operating profit is the profit from the operations before you think about how you're paying for the operations how you're financing them or or taxes or any of that uh, a type of business but this is strange because this is a very stable business it's very strange for its operating profit to kind of jump around like this so the way that we kind of reconcile this is by doing something called capitalizing the expense of the truck and then depreciating it over the course of its life. And I'll cover that in the next video.